it's this is a a broad beam that we're gonna use. I'm not using plenty, say about a quarter cup. That much. So add a little little white vinegar and just rinse it. Make sure it's clean properly. We're gonna allow this to soak. Just remove this water now and then pour some fresh water on it and soak it. Alright, fresh water. Just allow this to soak for 30 minutes to an hour the most. Purpose of this is to release the gas from the beans. Hello, today I'm gonna make for you curried pig trotters. So I already have in soak quarter cup to half cup of broad beans, medium sized onion or two small onions, old cloves, six old cloves, rosemary, teaspoon of rosemary, basil, tablespoon of basil, a tablespoon and maybe a teaspoon of basil plus parsley, a tablespoon of parsley uh, marjoram a teaspoon of marjoram and then a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon of pimento berries or a quarter teaspoon spring of thyme two stalks of scallion and a piece of ginger cut to about this much finger a tablespoon plus a teaspoon I'm going to measure it and let you know and less than a quarter cup of oil two scotch bunny pepper Alright, this has been soaking. Just remove the water. Eight garlic cloves and two tablespoons of curry powder. four cups of water and put the stove gauge on medium once it comes to a whistle time it for 18 minutes it's building it's building it's building see it's building uh, it took eight to ten minutes for it to start building so once it starts to whistle put your stove gauge on low or medium low and put your timer for 18 minutes. If I didn't say this is one pound, one pound of pig chuckers. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the for the recipe, please, because I might miss something and I might say something wrong.
Let's strip this off. Strip this off. And strip this guy in. Piece of ginger. Put this much index. Screw the dirt out. And leave the skin. Went ahead and stripped eight to six garlic, six to eight garlic cloves. At a time. All right, eighteen minutes up. Let's allow it to cool. If you're in a hurry, you can run this under water this part until this releases until the hair releases allow cooling okay so I rinse these So we're going to add, add one, add two, seasoning one, seasoning two. This is what I'm using. Half over there, half over here. Ginger, half, half, garlic, half, about a tablespoon I like plenty of pepper with this meal. Okay, it's cool. Just remove the water. Let's put this aside for later. Let's cover it and put it aside. One tablespoon in uh, half over here and half over there. You can't get away with using a little bit more. Alright, whole cloves, four whole cloves, 
two over there, two over there. It's little but it's Talawa, just like Jamaica. Small but it's powerful, whole clove. Rosemary. This is the fine one, so I don't have to grind it. See? So a teaspoon. Bring back too much too. Teaspoon. Pimento berries dried. A teaspoon. Half over there, half over there. Somebody made a comment about bags shuffling. And I was wondering what the person was talking about. And it's just now when I'm putting this together, I said, oh, this is what they're talking about. I'm saying, which bag they're talking about? Teaspoon of marjoram. Half over there, half over here. And this is the basil. About a tablespoon and a half. Half over here, half over there. Not dried basil. Or fresh. Any of these herbs, you know, if you have them fresh, you can use them fresh. You know. It's probably better. Let's cover these, put them aside for later. This is the chatters. I don't like what they're cutting them these days, you know. They're cutting them like cow food. This looks disgusting. They're not cutting them like they used to, you know, with the, with the point at the front. They're cutting them like... I had to go so many places just to find this. And it's still not cut the way I wanted it. Anyway, rinse this off wash with some with lime if you need to wash it. It's not recommended that you wash this with white vinegar. See stuff like here. Just peel them off or burn them off with a lighter, like so. Some of these shutters are small and some are big. Your international people have some big ones. So pressure cook it for 18 minutes. I'm going to pressure cook this one for 15 minutes. Turn your stoves on, turn your stove on, put your stove gauge on, like medium, because we're going to burn the curry. Add a garlic, from add one, and a piece of ginger, from add one, we can't find it. So, dip on this. Um, just allow the pot to, after a minute, add oil, but just allow it to dry. I never said nothing to make it, but it's natural cooking, so. Let's add a, like a quarter teaspoon. And add one. Alright, 
This is a teaspoon. I can't find a teaspoon. I can't. I can't find my tablespoon. So I know that a teaspoon and a half make one tablespoon. getting dark and the oil make it look like this but it's okay but not black is to put your stove the gauges on four all this time for medium medium level add chatters Explain something to you with the curry. You can you can use two tablespoon and a teaspoon, the most, and you can use only those two tablespoon. That's like the safe zone. But you don't want less than that. Nor not too much over that. Everything's added, everything's added. So put on your lid. Once it starts to whistle, we're gonna time it for 25 minutes. Before, I f just before I forget, I just wanna say, this meal is nice, with, is delicious, is nice. Eat good with white rice. Nevertheless, I'm eating it, I'm having it today with white yam and green bananas. Building. Building. I know I probably gave you this story on my first video because this is the second time I'm doing this. When I visited the United States, I said there was this man. He's big and thick. He looks like a Chinese mix with what I don't know. And he cooked this 
the time I was like a teenager, like young, like 14, 15. And a friend of mine knew him. They, they knew each other from Muslim Mandeville or something like that. And we went by his house and he, 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 he was cooking, he cooked this trotters, big trotters, curry. And he, he gave it, gave us with white yam. I guess because we were in the States at the time, he didn't have the banana and like planting and so forth. But I just remember the white yam. And I just remember how good it was. It was awesome. That was the first time I've ever gotten this. My mom never cooked this. And from that day on, and I started cooking on my own, I did it. And, it, and from that on, so this is the only part of the pig that I will eat. It's building, it's building. Fighting to start. Alright, it's starting now. Put your time, your stove gauge on low. And set your time at 15 minutes. I am unable to get sage in Jamaica and I tried to grow my own but it didn't come out. So if you have access to sage, put two pieces of leaves or three pieces of leaves in. Mm, about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. I split it. A season one, season two. Sage is nice with this. And international people, if you don't have scallion, you can use dill. D-I-L-L, dill. Maybe that's why you guys use dill because you don't have access to scallion. Well, you do, you know. You do. Not dill. Although you can use a little bit of dill in this too, but I was talking about shies. The thing that look like scallion, shies. I have to say things that, as I remember too. Yes, butter. I, if you know me, I don't use butter. But this is nice with butter. So you can use one tablespoon of butter if you like butter. Or a teaspoon at the end. You can use canned butter beans too as well. Just remove the water. And then you add that at the same time when you're going to see me add the beans with this one. Halfway in the time, just turn the stove down on very low. Like that, simmer low. That low. That low. Halfway. Now I just put it back to low. That's five minutes leave. So I just put it back to low now. This is picking up. Alright, the time is coming to an end. We have less than a minute to finish. Alright, let's turn it off. Put it over there. Do not take this up because the flavor escapes from here. And if you're in a hurry, just run this over top water until the hair so releases. And then you open it. Take this off and then open it. Rather than that, just allow it to cool. Let me share something with you. About two months ago, you saw the pot. If you've seen my other videos, you probably see this a short little pot. Um, it's a nice pot. It had a nice little cover with a handle on the top. Anyway, the cover is gone. It had two little angles. That pot, I grew up with my mom cooking in that pot. And I did the dumbest thing the other day. Guess what I did? I know what I did. It was like some rice in a pot and you know you scrape it out. But I don't know what I did, but I, I leave the pot in the bag for the for the for the trash. Saying that I was gonna allow it to just run out and then take it out later. But for some reason I forgot that it was in there. Put rubbish on it, more rubbish on it, and threw the bag out. It's when I ready for it the next day. I remember that's what I did. Ran down there hoping that I could find the bag. Because trust me, if I if I found the bag I would have took it out and cleaned it and washed it. 
but it was gone. I'm playing cool, but it hurt me because that part is, is a part that was close. It's, I mean, it's older than me. The part probably older than me. And I threw it away carelessly. Well, anyway, I hope somebody down the river can find it and use it. This is a smaller one, it looks just like this one. And the cover cover inside this and add a little a little top. You know, all the time part and the angle was here so. But that one had two angles here, so you can hold it like this. Remember them part them on. Just like this. This was my great grandmother's. And my mom had it and I took it. You notice I put a string right there. And it said, Have you tried prior? Let's go everywhere with me. And to show you how old that thing is, it's made of chalk. To show you how old that thing is, it's made of chalk. I'm going to share this with you. A guy we were talking about um, cancer and live at seven. One guy was talking about eating properly and so forth and so forth. And the doctor was saying, um, it's, it's genetics and, and, and it's, best, it's best practice to, to get checked every year and so forth after you reach a certain age for cancer and so forth. Um, but one of the things that one of the doctor that he called, I don't want to know, it was, it was live at seven. A little talk, talking program that's here in Jamaica. And they were talking and then the, the guy said, he did with a lot of cancer patients and he said in his opinion he believe it's bad luck oh some people get it and some people don't because you smoke some people smoke drink live a bad lifestyle and don't get cancer while surprisingly a lot of people that live good lifestyle those are the ones that tend to get cancer so you gotta be you gotta be conscious and aware. When I was young I used to fear that, you know, when you're a child. But you know what? For a very long time I come to the realization that death is a part of life. So life goes on. Life goes on. With or without you life goes on. My personal opinion though life is what you make it. So if you treat yourself properly, just like a car, a good car, you know just people with money. Where I live is like people with money live there. I'm not to say I have any, but um, so you see, you know, people with their cars, certain cars, you never see a scratch on a Benz or a high end BMW. You'll never see a dent nor a scratch on a Benz. I've been driving around, I've never seen any. You see the Benz, but you'll never see a scratch on a dent. And they take care of the vehicle. And even the old ones, some antique. Benz driving around, they look really nice. I saw one today and I was like, wow, I would buy that Benz. It looked like one of those cars from the James Bond movie. So just to say, if you eat properly and eat the right things, find out stuff, you know, get get educated about food and stuff. That's not in mainstream. You have to go there and seek those information for yourself. Um, I like to go back to the story now because I remember when I went to do a physical and the, and the doctor took my pressure, she was like, wow, pressure perfect. That's what she said. I said, perfect, doctor? And she said, well, um, it's just nothing is wrong. It's just right where it's supposed to be. So I said, okay. I always remember that story. And I know it's my habit. It's the way I eat and I exercise. I haven't been exercising lately, but it's cool. It took about um, about ten minutes to cool. There about. Just, just put it in a pot. Same time. Gonna need this pot to do some other cooking. So you see, you want to get it tender. I'm saying this is local pig, you know. You see? Tender. Tender and nice. 
25 minutes is good. And just add season two, same time. and allow it to simmer. Put the stove's gauge on four, medium, medium low-ish. It's best to cook the beans because I could have put it with the um, pressure with the cows, with the pigs, trotters, but I didn't, I like I don't like the water in it, so I like to pressure it separate. This is after five minutes. Just stir it gently. Just to let you know, the amount of water that I use, you can use two pounds of big chatters to three cups of water. Up to three up to two pounds. Because I use only one pound today. And I'm gonna boil out the gravy. Alright, that's 10 minutes in. Just turn your stove up to medium high. It's on 8 for me. With the stove's gauge still on for medium, and it's 15 minutes now. Add the beans. 12 to 15 minutes after stewing at the beans. Just to note some things, you could use, you see if you were cooking a pound, you could use two cups of water. But it's best to have more because you can just slowly cook the gravy down and let it, and let it absorb and dilute the gravy. Like what I'm doing now. And if you feel like it's too much water, you just turn the stove up and let it boil out. If you feel like it's just enough water, you just keep it on low until the season break out and then let's turn it up to thicken the grill. Alright, this is the 15 minutes now. a year or twice a year so this is 20 minutes doing now still on medium low which is four for me and um, and in this case I'm looking at it every five minutes it's 
starting to stick a little. Remove time sticks. around 23, 23 minutes. Looks start gentle. As it's getting closer to the end, I'm looking at it like every two minutes now. I want it to soak. That's why I don't want to turn the stove up yet and cook it up. I just want it to dilute and just soak inside the chatter. It's starting to stick. Uh, I'm gonna just turn. This is 30 minutes stewing now. So I'll just turn the stove up and take it and finish. You know what? Finish. I forget this is gonna thicken. When as it cool, it's gonna thicken. Red pig shutters with white yam, green bananas, boiled.
hot. Well, I'm gonna have a seat.